Welcome back to Stick War Legacy. This is the modded series. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see the angels and demons. We have angels versus demons. If you're coming from uh, Baron Von Games main channel, well then you would have seen the little teaser already. If you're only subscribed here on Baron Von Tactics and not there, feel free to go back and subscribe. After this video, go check it out. But today what we're going to be doing is we're going to having the angelic faction fight the end boss. But I think first what we need to do is see these guys in action. So we're going to warm up and see a little bit some of the units. So we're going to free Westwind, right? So look at the statue. First off, there's some halos. My miners have halos as well. And the demon faction, look at that. Look at their shield. And look at the little demon miners. I think the demons look so much cooler because they got the little horns and their little faces are so angry. They're so angry. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to see the angel faction fight the demonic faction and the end boss. It's truly an epic battle there. You know what? Let's get another miner. How many miners do we have? We want more miners. I don't know when we're going to need to attack here. Let's see. So they have an Archidon with like, look at the little demonic wings. It's awesome. And then the spirit in his helmet is very large and in charge right there. I think the first unit we're going to want to get, let's get an angelic spirit in so you can see. Look at that. He's got that and his halo is kind of covered by the, uh, the feathers. We got to work on that. But the giants themselves are pretty cool. They're almost more like avatars, really. It's like an angelic spirit or a demonic spirit in a giant's bones. So we're going to have that in... There's also, what we're going to be seeing a little bit later is the Kai Riders. There's an angelic and demonic version of those. All right, so it seems my economy is pretty strong. So I think what we should do is save up for something to beef up our front lines. And that is, I don't know if we should call him an archangel or a, a human, like a human wizard who uh, is fighting for the armies of good or maybe for the armies of the bad guys, the armies of hell. Heaven versus hell, right? So what we got here, let's call in... I think now that we have that, we're gonna want a few more Archidons. Or Angelic Archers, and look at their wings. I love it. But yeah, so as you're watching this, we've done the Samurai mod, we've done the Golden Legion mod, and remember when Kichu came out and that was so cool, man? I was like... That really kind of inspired the Golden Legion mod. And now we've got Angels versus Demons. So as you're watching this, if you've got a mod idea that you would love to see in a future video, leave it in the comments below. And if you see someone else leave a comment of like, oh man, that's a cool mod that he's suggesting, go ahead and upvote that comment so it's more than likely to be chosen in the next one. Oh my gosh, these wizards really just pump out tons of units. So I think maybe a few archers and then we're going to go in for the attack. Their Spiritan army, their demo their demons, demons. What is up with my pronunciation? Is it the French? They've got a pretty solid front line and a few archers behind it. So I would feel better with a few more archers before we commit to this attack. But our front line should be able to overcome theirs and beat them up. All right, there we go. And then I think, yeah, man, that front line is pretty solid. That's a very solid line. But we've just got, it's funny, we've got more units than them. You'd think that the demons would be able to, like, have more units and the angels would be better. Like, you know, we'd have, they'd have quantity and we'd have quality. Oh my gosh. Dude, they just tore through that line. But our Spiritans did arrive to kind of follow in the summonable angels. And let's get a third one out there. And then a Sword Wrath. But yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys, like, the end boss. Because the end boss is a little bit different now that it's a demonic version. And on top of that, we have, like, a Kai Rider. An angel Kai Rider and a demon Kai Rider. Or rather, they wouldn't obviously be Kai Riders, but there's an angel on one of the big giant's backs. So let's show the demonic and angelic giants now. Now that we've defeated, we've freed the nation. So here we'll be going to the ice hills. And there we go, a demonic wizard. Oh, please don't attack. Please just hold the line. And look at that, the little summonable guys, they have the little fire swords, right? And you may have noticed that the angels are kind of carrying like an ethereal feather as well as their whole ethereal light blue look with the golden glimmering halos atop their angelic little heads. So we've got 560. I think the first unit we're definitely gonna want to get is a wizard. Oh man, their, their front line is looking pretty strong. Luckily, they don't have any spiritons yet though. But generally when I'm playing Stick War Legacy, I rarely look at my line. Like, I know what we have. I look at theirs to kind of see, are they attacking? What units do they have? Does anyone else play that way? I'm sure, I'm sure most of you do. All right, so now I think, now that we've got a, we're gonna have a solid front line. 
Oh man, is he summoning a hundred gold each? I think what we want to do is work on some archers, some damage dealers, right? Because really the summonable minions from our angelic our, our, our archangel or our, our wizard, Gandalf the White, whatever he would be, they don't do a lot of damage. They die really easily. They're more quantity versus quality, right? And as we were discussing, I feel like the demons should have that capacity, but we're just modifying the game. If I could make my own game though. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the possibilities. So let's see, build up the army and attack soon. We definitely want to attack soon. You know what? Should we attack now? I think one more wizard and we would be able to attack and defeat them. As long as they don't have too many spear chins, which they don't, yeah. One more wizard. We could call it a Merrick too if we wanted. One more magic kill. Come on. That's all we need to defeat them, I think. Oh, we're 20 gold away. Give me the gold. There it is. All right, so this third one's gonna come in here. Or is it only their second? It's only our second. I take it back. We've only got two. All right, they do have one Spearton, so he can soak up a little bit of damage. But one, like I said, man, we've got a huge army attacking. Actually, we gotta wait till the lines are fully summoned in, till they're done summoning, and then we attack. I guess this would be a good time to call in like an archer barrage if they were, if it was multiplayer, you'd have to do a lot more like strategy and tactical adjustments when you're fighting. So now we'll just have some sword wrath. Oh, they got three Spearton's though in that time. So we should be able to crush their line very easily. We don't have any Spearton's this time though. Help us, so their guys are doing a very brilliant job at holding this line. There we go, but we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, good. Now we just gotta kill their wizard because we're just summoning in angels while they're summoning in demons. Okay, oh, did we lose all of our wizards to archer fire? We did, dang it, that sucks. Okay, now we've gotta make this attack worth it since we lost such valuable pieces of our army by taking out their miners. All right, all right, all right, that's good. Now we'll pull back and get another wizard. See, dang it, see, you do need maybe one or two Spearton's because right after the line of your first little angels gets crushed, you're gonna need that support. You're gonna need a unit that can absorb damage. And we didn't have that, unfortunately. It's just tempting to not save up for another wizard because they can put so many units out on the battlefield, but I think we are gonna want one Spearton, especially the fact that there's no enemies on the battle. They're probably saving up to get a spear tin or, or rather get some miners so they can get their gold rate back up. But as of now, we just got to go in and crush them now. This will hopefully be it. Wizard, keep... Oh, he wasn't done summoning, so he's not going to arrive to the front line in conjunction with the other units. He'll be a little bit behind. A little bit behind. It, it should be fine. Yeah, see, and archers will eventually have their damage reduced. So you got to bring in a lot of melee units. They're bringing in giant. Oh, God. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We got to get the wizards back. Dude, just come back. Oh, someone just got crushed by a giant. Oh no! Hit him with arrows, boys. All right, we'll call in a uh, Spearton here to help hold this line. There we go. We should be able to take out the demonic giant. Look at him, he's like, he's a manifestation of evil spirits in the bones of a fallen giant. And we should be able to defeat all these guys. And that was their reinforcement wave, so this is the one where we push it. See, Spearton's, man are so needed. They absorb so much damage. So it's like a combined arms approach is really what we need here. But wait, man, the epic clash of angels versus demons is about to happen. I can't wait to show you. It's been a, it's been a modified level as well as modified factions. And now it is time for the final clash, the clash of titans. Angels versus demons, the battle of heaven and hell. The demonic forces of darkness seek to consume the world with evil. Only the angels of Inamorta stand in their way. So we gotta destroy the demonic statue and look at this! They've got a demonic Kai Rider. So we're gonna send out our force and we have an angelic Kai Rider. So he's got like what, a, a giant trident. Sidon would be very envious of this. And it looks like they're summoning in zombies. That's pretty epic. And so now we're just gonna have a giant clash. All right guys, go in and support. So our, our Kai Rider here doesn't get wrecked. We'll, we'll pull him back behind friendly lines. And it looks like they're just calling in tons of zombies. Look at that Kai with his trident and his wings. Now that looks like a right and proper demon, doesn't it? We'll get a wizard out there too. And then maybe a few more archers. Because they do- oh man, that's a big line of Spearton's coming in. Oh, they got two more giants. So we'll counter them. Because what I wanted to show you guys is the final demon. But look at this, man. We got all kinds of custom units out here now. Like, this is something new. The Kai Rider summoning in zombies is epic. And look at that. Our reinforcements arrived. Their reinforcements arrived. 
We really got to start doing some damage to their champion, though. And look at the volcano going off in the background. The solar eclipse going on. Come on, guys. Defeat him. There we go. We're at his feet. We'll be able to crack those bones and take him down. And slay the demon. The fallen angel that's riding him. And there it goes. Ugh. Beautiful. But the battle is not done. That was not the final form of the demonic forces. They got a demon giant out there. <laughs> you know what I think I'm doing? I think this guy is accidentally summoning in zombies too. We must march to the front line. So if I have him doing this, he can't summon in zombies, right? Ah, 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 ah. Come on, boys, lead the charge. We've got a very impressive army here. But remember, you know what happens when that statue falls. Oh man, the enemy's calling in reinforcements. That's four giants. Four to five? Oh my gosh. Oh no, we might lose our champion. It, it, it really depends. I've got some reinforcing uh, angelic giants coming in, but I don't know if they're gonna make it there in time. We have a pretty sizable contingent of soldiers though at the base of that statue. The zombies are here. Defeat them. Look at this, boys. Come on. We're almost, we've almost crushed that statue. I think what we need is some archers. I think most of our archers have been taken down from the zombies, but here he is. You know that the giant comes out, right? And you know what happens after this giant gets his hit. He gets squashed. Oh, he's doing eight damage. The volcanoes blow up. The solar eclipse flares, and there he is, the ultimate demonic giant. But he, he's essentially the end boss in Stick War Legacy, and I wanted to see him fight the angelic faction. That is the goal here. I'm wondering, though, how we could differentiate the giants. We had so many units still on the battlefield. It was a quick and easy victory for the good guys. But we're gonna end this for the Order Empire or the Angelic Empire? Or the Armies of Heaven? <laughs> we did it! All right, guys. So, if you guys wanna see more, let me know in what mods should we either update and make, you know, add some units, or should we make a different one? Let me know in the comments. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.